shook it up. Today is Wednesday, the 1st of November, and that can only mean one thing. It's Lex's birthday, and he gets his birthday surprise. Because we were surprised with having to move house, which was delayed because of the sale being delayed on this house, so we're not moving till after Christmas now, thank goodness. Because of this, I had to tell Lex we were going away somewhere, so he knows we're going on a trip, but he doesn't know where. So I thought it'd be fun to play a little game of like 20 questions, so that he can try and guess where we're going before I tell him. It's your birthday! <laughs> I was making him a crumble for his birthday cake, but I burnt the apples and the berries. So Alex is having a protein carrot cake muffin as his <laughs> birthday cake. But I am gonna make protein French toast for breakfast. And if you wanna see that recipe, comment below and I'll put it up on my recipe channel. He's having his birthday breakfast of s'mores, Damn. French toast. Damn. And we have some pancake syrup, <laughs> cup of tea, a card. I think we have a theme going on in this household. She picked up the card. Who's that? Is that a sibling? From Lady Roxy and Bailey. I even did a, a paw print instead of an XX. <laughs> Not a paw print. That was my What's attempt. The dots? It was my attempt at a paw print. Why have we got dogs? Thirty one toe, two toes. Why, what are they meant to be like? Big middle pad. Oh. Three toes. All oh, right. <laughs> I was trying to remember. <laughs> I know we're going away somewhere because you had to tell me when I'm going to play. 20 questions! I yeah, love it. <laughs> Is it in Europe? No. What? <laughs> I know we need a passport, so I know it's not the UK. Will there be a... beaches? Yes. Do they speak English where we're going? Yes. Oh, I now did now. Is it the USA? Yes. Right, well I have no geography skills whatsoever, so any directional questions is pointless, because I have no idea. <laughs> is it Florida? Way? Yeah. It is? I don't know anything about Florida. <laughs> I, just I know that there are gators, you and you to, shouldn't. You want me to just... We're going to Disneyland! No. Think of Will Smith. Smith. Party on the beach till the break of dawn. We're going to Miami. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so slow. <laughs> really? Yeah. What Miami? Yeah, we're going to South Beach for a week. It's Miami. It's not your Miami. High five. What a present. Yeah. Cool. We are at Dublin Airport on our way to Miami and we are in the lounge in Terminal 2 in Dublin. On your way to the US you get to do free customs so when you land in the US then you can just to your hotel. Lex is after making himself pancakes. We are flying business class for the first time and um, maybe the last time ever. Well you never know. Well, oh, we're flying business class and then maybe tomorrow we'll die. Well, it's a treat anyway. So we're going to vlog it because with Aer Lingus and with a lot of the airlines, you can actually bid on the business class and first class seats because they don't want to just give them away and obviously they still want to get money out of people. So what you do is you come on and you have the opportunity to upgrade by bidding. So you put in, they'll have a minimum amount you can bid. So you can't just bid a tenner. It will be like usually a percentage of the price of your business class upgrade so I bid once you put in the bid you've committed to buy it so if you get it you have to pay for it so just be aware of that as well a day before we were due to leave I got an email saying that my bid had been accepted and now we are flying business class and you get all the perks of business class which means you get access to the lounge you get extra baggage allowance you get to sit in a classy seat it's a full live flat bed I don't think all business class are full live flat but they are on there and you get priority boarding and you get really nice food. So I'll update you with my review of business class and if it is worth the money or not. It's definitely not worth the full amount. It's like, I think it was like some crazy like £2,000 per person to fly business class and it's just it's not worth that. But a lot of people who fly business class because they've used their airline points or like me they have bid on their seat. So I know that Etihad do it, American Airlines do it, a lot of the uh, transatlantic and 
international bigger airlines do it that you can upgrade. Top tip. Water bottle. Relax and then lie flat for sleep. <gasps> a massage, mood life. I'm so happy. <laughs> TV, footrest. Got some place for my shoes. Got magazines. Got canapes to start. Got the drinks menu. Ooh. Got lunch menu. A beetroot and feta salad. Oven baked cod steamed chicken or fillet of beef, chocolate profit rolls or cheese with chutney. And then we've got afternoon tea, a selection, chicken and stuffing wrap, hummus, warm scones and then got the drinks menu. Oh yeah, champagne for lean. Are you happy? Are you settled? There's a massage function. Yeah, no, that'll just be on permanent the entire flight. Just on the buttocks. <laughs> So I can't even touch the ground. Living the dream. Oh yeah. I think I'm gonna make mimosas. My own little cocktail. the best, nicest, most enjoyable flights I've ever had. It was over nine hours of just rest, watching TV, nice food, it was just really good. And I just feel really rested. And I think it's about one in the morning UK time, but I've had a couple of hours sleep on the flight and it's only 9 p.m. here. So we'll probably just get back to the hotel, get settled, and then just have a good night's sleep until tomorrow. Good morning, Lex. This is our messy hotel room. We have left bits of ourselves in every corner. There's me. This is the bedroom bit. Another TV, big bed. And that's a door into the bathroom, but it's like two doors. So the bathroom's really big. Got a mess here. Got the shower in here. Big massive shower. Here's all my makeup crap going through. And we got an espresso machine. Oh yeah. I'm a creature of habit, so as I do in the UK, I am starting my day with a coffee. I might go down to the gym and have a little treadmill run and I might not. I haven't decided yet. Oh, I think you can get these like in Whole Foods or something in the UK. This is the best coconut almond milk I've ever had, ever, and it's delicious. Picked up some of these fiber one bars. These ones are awesome. Their cinnamon coffee cake. It tastes delicious. All ready to go out and do some sunbathing, maybe go get some breakfast. I've got friends on in the background. And um, I'm in a bikini from ASOS. Skirt is also from ASOS. I think this top, I cut it off, it was one from H&M. This is the sunscreen I use. Banana boat, because I've got really sensitive skin and I'm not allergic to banana boat, so. When I come to America, they've got like way better selection, and we've just whitened our teeth with this. So it's plus white. You get it in like the CVS, and it's only like ten dollars, and there's loads in it. And we just put it in our liners. But if you don't have liners like we do, you can just put it on a toothbrush or use cotton bud and just rub it on your teeth, and then leave it, and then you brush it off. So they actually do look really white because they have hydrogen peroxide in them, and um, in the UK. I think it pretty much doesn't pass the standards, so you can only get it in the States. Lex is just having some vitamins. Supplements. Time to get some tan on. This is as tanned as I've gotten this week. Irish girl problems. Breakfast, and what is my hair doing? It's the humidity! We've just got some egg white omelette. I got some of these yummy potatoes. I don't like potatoes. We've got some turkey bacon. Lex got the same but fruit. 
can water. And then I'm gonna get an iced Americano from Starbucks, which is like so conveniently just across the road. Now we are going to Starbucks. Could you talk a little slow? I hate you. I do have a bikini top on, I just have it rolled down. We've been set up here on the beach, on the South Beach. It's like living a dream. I drank my coffee. And now I'm gonna soak up some sun, try and get some extra freckles. Maybe a bit of a tan as well. I'm so Irish. Anyone else have the issue with being at the beach and the sand going into every available space? I'm such a princess. This is my view right now. Our last night here in Miami, going for some dinner. We're all dressed up. We're going for food to a place called Cleo that does like Mediterranean type food. We hope. And hopefully it'll be tasty because I'm hungry as always. Look how white my teeth are. Jeez, what is that, like an app? No. Even mine look quite white. There's your thumbnail. <laughs> Hello, Gromit. We're back at the hotel for dessert. I wasn't over enamored with the restaurant's choice of dessert where we ate, so I'm on the red velvet cheesecake with son a key lamb Let's give it a go. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, 